Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Little Hope here on my channel. Um, I took a little break after um, the previous episode because obviously I had to edit it, right? And upload it, which took some time. <laughs> and uh, that's not the only thing that I did while I wasn't recording because I <laughs> tweaked some more in OBS and if it works... Greetings, it is me, Beelzebub. <laughs> um, or how about some, hold on, peanut butter, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, um, just wanted to show off a bit. Um, we'll see when these filters will come in handy. Because I also have a few emotes, so to say. Um, so, yeah, I hope. I'll remember to use them, if the situation is um, appropriate. But for now, let's continue and try to find a way out of the woods. Is anything here not falling apart? Okay, that's it. Okay, um, historic restoration. Warning, dangerous, unstable structure, site unsafe. Yeah. Yeah, like he said, like anything in Little Hope, really. Um, so does this mean... No. Fireflies. That's okay, it is the way to glow. go, apparently. I wasn't sure if this was the way to go, because I don't... Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Uh oh. No, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Mm. Your mm. charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. The priest is the villain. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. 
No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Yeah, I don't care what you think, guys. He is the one um, instructing her to do all of this. Just saying. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. <laughs> Me too. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. Nope. We never even saw her. Fuck. You met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Oopsie! We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds How you of doing? years ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't crazy. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. N never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame <laughs> it had to be from witches and ghosts. We need a hero. We could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. <laughs> I'm full of surprises. You'll see. Hopefully. We need to get moving. Yes. Fuck. Uh oh. Prepare for quick time events. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Tabitha is one aggressive bitch, that's for sure. She doesn't let off her prey that easily. Taylor! Where are you? Taylor! Taylor! Is that you? Whew. Good thing I didn't follow the movement because I was sure it was gonna be. Hold on to me! Whatever happens, uh, do not let go! Wait. Help me! Don't let I'm not go. letting go! Oh. Yes, fight it! Can't talk right now, can't do anything, have to focus on button pressing. I'm losing my trains of thought, as you can probably tell, so I already forgot what I wanted to say uh, about the animal. I didn't, I was sure it was the animal. But can't talk, sorry. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Fucking hell. Surely she isn't gone yet. We gotta move, she... okay? What the fuck is that thing? The most aggressive one out of all of them. <sighs> Let's check that out. As I said, It'll no rest for the wicked. These damn woods and we can talk on the way. Okay, so what I wanted to say, uh, sorry for being so brain dead at the beginning of the episode, um, what I wanted to say about the house kind of late, but, um, surely this isn't the way to go because we are supposed to follow the path and, um, yeah, yeah obviously that wasn't the way to go. We have to follow the trail. And we almost died. But still, we got away. We got away again, once more. But yeah, I was sure it was a good thing to follow the sounds and not the movement because it was obviously the deer or whatever it was. 
running to the right that we would have followed. I don't know what would have happened then. So we have another marking here. And some creepy noises. But yeah, about the pastor, or the reverend, he must be behind all of this. I mean, I was sure it was Mary, but we've seen the way he talks to her and... Um, the way he almost enjoys what's what happened back then with the trials, right? So what happened back there with that thing? It's gone for now. Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I really hope you're right. <laughs> Only a matter of time before they come after us again. That's yeah. a pretty negative outlook you got there. But it's true. We must stop Mary. We must stop her. The only way out of this freaking nightmare is to stop Mary, stop her lying. You had Even? a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put if her in the, the dock reverend. for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. Yeah, we don't. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. Investigate the large building, stick together. Well, well, to be fair, I'm not the one running off all the time, right? Oh, crush. Charming. Pressed into silence, yeah. Okay, so we know how... Hypothetically, John could die. Well, you're just gonna have to make sure that that doesn't happen, right? Oh, but yeah, oh, I'm so torn. I mean, I'm sure it's always, um, you know, a life or death decision. Either, okay, let's say we have to kill Mary, kill her or spare her. Uh, we don't know if killing her would stop this. And if there is even the slightest chance that we could do something to the Reverend to make him pay for all of this, because he might be behind all, might be behind all of this, uh, I don't know if I should take the chance to try and kill and stop Mary. A Carver was running for mayor. Vote Carver for mayor. Triple six for our future prosperity. Samuel Carver. Carver. You know, the thing is... Um, you know, graffiti is like this. Let's call it a graffiti. You can find that pretty much everywhere, right? In the real world. In the real world, too. But the thing is... I'm sure it must have a deeper meaning that it's, you know, the triple six and two horns. Especially on <laughs> a carver who is related to the Reverend, so... <sighs> I don't know what to do. I mean, right now I can't do anything, right? But I, I don't know if I should stop Mary or if I should continue to try to stop him. Because I'm sure if Mary is gone, he will find another way to do whatever he wants to do to continue his shenanigans. Check this out. Hey! <sighs> that guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. been here for a long time. Uh, fuck. But I thought that would happen. Now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. 
I cannot know how my testimony will be I'm received. I'm gonna have to decide, won't I? The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. However, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I'm I may scared. speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage it's is him. not in it must be him. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Under Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. Fuck him. If the court agrees. First, the I court made my must decision. what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. I hope I can make him speak out against Abraham. him. But they must have heard what that. What am now. I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? If she is manipulated. This is tough for you. This is tough. I get that. Would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! I can't do anything, can I? Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. Oh. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. I've done everything I could to try to um, expose the Reverend instead of Mary. The game only asked me once. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? Well, she is a vic She is a victim. <laughs> I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down like he said. It went down just like he said. Where even are we here? Just asking. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Explore the factory. It's a factory. <laughs> Find another route out of the building. We have a painting right here. Or is it a photo? It looks more like a painting right now. No, it's a photo. Oh! Look at those outfits. Hmm. This place shut down way, way back. Mm -hmm. Life as a kid in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Everything was ahead of me. Yeah. But that still doesn't help us. There's gotta be much. another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? Mm-hmm. 
But I'm not done checking out this floor yet, Angela. So if you don't mind. Did you say something? No. In memory of James Clark, 1929 to 1972. Sadly missed by his many friends and colleagues. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um... That's, uh, John's past life, I believe. It was the Clark family, and James should be John. <laughs> because if you noticed, all of the names always start with the same letter, so, yeah. Can we go in here? Even though we are unauthorized personnel. <laughs> Miss my ass? Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Wanna bet there's something on the other side? Mr. Vincent Barnes, May the 8th, uh, 1972. Dear Mr. Barnes, subject, employment warning letter. Employment warning letter. <laughs> Following our recent disciplinary meeting, I am writing regarding your attendance and behavior. Management, sorry. <laughs> Management have made every effort to accommodate your difficult circumstances and recent injury by accepting your recurring absences. However, continued warnings regarding attendance, lateness, and intoxication have prompted us to issue a formal written warning. Further repetition of this behavior or other misconduct within the next 12 months will result in dismissal. Revenden expects our employee... Oh, yeah, the Revenden factory, right? I remember. <laughs> Revenden expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual, and sober. You must take... Uh, you must acknowledge receipt of this letter. Please sign and return it to the foreman's office within seven days and unreadable. Probably a signature. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Yeah. Oh, we knew he had a, some issue with the drink, right? <laughs> Little box of memories, just like in the police station. And a photo of the Clark family. Get over here. You gotta see this. <laughs> now there's all of them in one photo. A big this happy time. This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history <laughs> look just like us. Now we got the creepy family of the year winners who also <laughs> look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? Mm-hmm. Not all of them. No clue. Not all of them. Who knows what happened to them? I know. Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. Yes. You really want a souvenir? From this night? Mm-hmm. From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. Maybe it'll come in handy. What you said about all this being a nightmare. Don't know when, though. You mean that? That's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? <laughs> Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Oops. Maybe time is fucked us. up here. Yes. Like, that really is us in that photo. Yes. But they're around the same age as us. As far as I can tell. Yes. Oops. Okay, that was weird. Um, dated August the 8th, um, 1973. So one year later, or yeah, one and a half years already after um, the Clark House fire. Little Hope Factory, uh, Little Hope Factory to close. You know, it's uh, sometimes a bit disorienting if you um, just read the text on the right and don't know, don't know the context it's in. So, the headline, Little Hope Factory to Close. Hundreds of layoffs will gut the town. Nearly 600 jobs are set to be lost in Little Hope when the Revenant Textiles Factory closes its gates at their Harvard Road site in September. Layoffs will include workers at the main factory and ancillary businesses across the town. Ancillary. <laughs> Uh, the decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver. A Carver again. The Carvers. Do I see a pattern here? They're behind everything evil that ever 
happened in this town, apparently. You know, the witch trials and now uh, the layoffs and... Um... Yeah, they, they, they really have some deep shit going on, so... I am still all for exposing the Reverend. Uh, but yeah, again, uh, the decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, a director in the family business that has been the primary employer in the town for over 160 years. With great sadness, we have made this decision. We consider the workers at the factory to be part of our extended family and know how much Revenden means to them. But we can no longer continue to run the business. And then unreadable. Where would that be? Wait, come wrong, wrong the business. At a loss. I don't know why that's unreadable, because I can clearly read it uh, in the paragraph on the actual newspaper, but okay. Um, where's that with dialogue? Dialogue with the Carver family? Wait. Okay, something's missing for some reason, I don't know why. Weird formatting going on, but okay. Um, yeah, unreadable dialogue with the Carver family, um, said McCarthy, whoever McCarthy is. Um, but while the daughters have been receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor Carver has rejected them at every turn. He went on, we want a partnership with the family to save their business and our livelihoods, but it seems as if the mayor does not accept partners. Hmm. Another union worker who did not want to be identified expressed this bitter, opi this bitter opinion. This is all about the land. The Carvers have owned the town for generations. Yeah, what did I tell you? If they can't profit from the land, they will shut it all down. As the main source of income for the majority of the town's families, many are worried what the future will bring. The factory closing will gut the town, one factory worker told the Herald, adding we... Yeah, no, can't read that. That's the end of it. But we have an ad for Ferryman. Um, the bus line I was telling you about in the previous episode, so they, they were looking for bus drivers. Full training given, uniform provided. Apply to Prime Transit, 12 Eden Street, Northbridge, Massachusetts, yada 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 yada. So that's where Anthony applied then, if that's Anthony. And I'm trying to make out something in this article. I mean, it's probably the same article. Part of the same article, because uh, one thing I just remembered, um, I noticed this in uh, post-production. Uh, the newspaper we would uh, we could find in the store where it was talking about um, the pastor that uh, was apparently involved in satanic rituals. Where have where have we heard that before? Um, on the other side, if you flipped it, uh, there was another article about a book that's coming up, and. Um, Let's just say this article gave me flashbacks to Man of Medan, and I'm sure it was teasing either the next game after House of Ashes or, well, one of the games in the Dark Pictures Anthology series, really, because it was talking about the Lost Apollo mission to the moon, uh, where NASA planned it for quite a long time that they never wanted them to go uh, to get to the moon. That's why they only put, like, um, or only filled up the tank halfway to ensure that uh, the astronauts couldn't land on the moon's uh, surface. And, uh, you know, I guess some government conspiracies and stuff like that, and uh, there was a similar article like this in Man of Medan that was completely unrelated to the story, and uh, what do you know, it was teasing House of Ashes. So, um, I think we will see a Dark Pictures anthology game taking place on the moon, maybe. Because the article was talking about how... Um, well researched the subject was and you know that already made me believe that it is in fact not well researched and that maybe they actually made it to the moon and they found something very sinister and insidious on this on the moon's surface i can imagine and uh, that would also make an interesting horror setting i think just saying thought i'd share that with you you heard it here first <laughs> such a game is announced um but yeah um Let's put the newspaper away, because I've been recording for almost 30 minutes, and I'm going to end it here for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon in the next episode of Little Hope, where we hopefully will be able to spill the beans on the Reverend, get him executed or something. I don't know. I, I, I wish he was executed, to be honest. 
stop his evil doings and hopefully that way escape little hope ultimately that would be nice right uh with nobody dying um but yeah we'll see uh so i look forward to seeing you in the next episode of little hope or in another game here on my channel and until then bye